in the Bantamweight division at UFC Macau. You got Bergang Jaleisi taking on Su Young Yu. And hopefully I'm pronouncing these names right. This is a title fight, I believe, for road to UFC. Now, Jale Yissi is 18 and 5. Yu, 13 and 3. We don't know these guys nearly as we would UFC fighters. So this is going to be interesting. You got China versus Korea. Uh, Julesi, Jule Yissi <laughs> is 3 inches taller at 5'9. He's 28. Yu's also 28. Yu's given up 5 inches in reach. 70 to 65, both guys stand right-handed, both guys around two significant strikes per minute, but because they can land takedowns, but Yu lands two uh, per round on average, Jayla Yisi, uh lands like two every three rounds, so a little bit of a difference there for sure. So let's begin with uh, uh, Yisi, is what I'll call him, make it easy on myself, 80% takedown defense. He's won back-to-back -back fights. After dropping the first fight by split decision, he won two in a row, one by submission, one by decision. Landed 24 significant strikes in both, had five takedowns to two. So he did lose one, but he's been good so far since then. Now you, 13-3, and three, he's been in the game for a while. Three KOs, five submissions, five decisions. Uh, he's won back-to-back -back fights. At Road to UFC, hasn't lost one. Winning both by decision. The last one was by split decision. So this is going to be interesting. You know, how much do you count the, the one loss in the road to UFC? Well, the thing is, is, is you is 13-3. and three. He's been in the game for a while. He hasn't lost since 2023, December. So it's been about a year. Came into road to UFC, Shanghai, and then Las Vegas. Won both of those. Hasn't lost at this level so i gotta believe he's gonna win this fight um and when you look at it he is a slight favorite so it doesn't help much but that's the way i'm leaning and it works out that he is a slight favorite so hopefully i'm leaning the right way because we don't know these guys quite as well but i'll take you here uh to win with the takedown game it just seems to be uh non-stop and the guy can land ko's in submission so i'll take him to win this fight in a very tough prediction so korea over uh, china here Bantamweight division, road to UFC final at UFC Macau.